Hey, has this ever happened to you? Oh my god, someone clipped that. Tell me you got a clip on that. Oh, seriously? No one got a clip of that? This isn't a video about how I have no viewers. No, this is a video about a tool that's extremely convenient and can save you time. The tool is called Athena Scope, and I'm here to tell you how to install it. Let's get into it. Now, I've made a video before explaining how Athena Scope uses AI to scan your gameplay or live stream and make clips automatically. So let's get started with installing. All right. So first thing you want to do is go to athenascope.com. Next, you're going to click on register. Fill out the information here and then register. All right, once you've registered, go ahead and log into your account. Then up here, the upper right hand corner, click get highlights. In this area, you have various methods on how you can get your gameplay to the website. One method is if you're a Twitch streamer or Facebook streamer, or you just have those accounts, you can actually stream to these websites and then Athenascope will be able to automatically scan your VOD and make clips from your VOD. Or you could select import Twitch video or import Facebook video and select the VOD yourself. This is great for console gamers and mobile gamers because you can stream from your device to Twitch and then from there, your VOD's up for the application to start scanning. Another method is for PC gamers to download the Athenascope app. Once you've downloaded and installed the app, it'll be running in your uh, bottom right hand corner over here in your tray. This is what it looks like. You can say always capture highlights, which I have running. And then you can select your system audio, your, your microphone, if you want your microphone within the gameplay. And then just set the quality. I have mine set to 60 frames per second, you know, 1920 by 1080 at a bit rate of 7,000. I've noticed the quality of the clips isn't actually that clear. So I'm still messing and learning what bit rate I can send at that works great. With this app, you can have it run at startup, which I do have it run at startup, because sometimes I forget to uh, turn it on, um, but you can just click it off. What happens if you're streaming to Twitch and running the application on your PC that you're gaming on is you'll have the same clip twice. One with your overlays and your camera and everything from your stream, and another with out any overlays, just the gameplay. This could be awesome just for individual clips, but I've noticed when it makes a showcase, it the uh, sort of repeats itself and it, it doesn't really, it kind of ruins the showcase. And I'll tell you about a showcase here in a little bit. The next option you have is you can actually just record a video and then use OBS to send it. Then it has instructions here on how to set up OBS for you. This is really cool, I guess, if you want, but you're still using resources on your PC and it's just kind of a pain. But if you are a console or mobile gamer and you're able to get your recording on a PC, I guess, and then send it using OBS, that's another way um, that you can do it. But again, I, I find it easier just to either stream to Twitch, use the app on your PC, or just stream directly to Athena Scout. And uh, like I said, that may or may not work for if you're using like some sort of screen capture for your console. At the start of the video, I showed you how convenient this could help you. Uh, you know, you don't have to ask your viewers to get a clip. You don't have to, you know, while you're playing the game, click over here on your, your device or hotkey button or whatever and click, you know, make a clip that way. You can just play your game, entertain your viewers and not even worry about clips because this app will make it for you automatically. But another way this can help you save time is if you're making like a YouTube video and you need some B-roll, this will actually have the clips for you. You don't have to go through your VODs and pick out all the great moments of your stream that involve gameplay. You have this library, you can go to my game sessions, has all your game sessions here. You can go to 
you can go to your game session and then you have all of these clips of various gameplay it has a, a defeat it has another defeat <laughs> a lot of defeats in this game um kill death kill three times death two kills death so this is a really awesome way to get b-roll for your youtube videos if you're doing like maybe uh you know maybe a gameplay tutorial and you just need like some clips to throw up there this is great and awesome so in these videos there is going to be a watermark that athenoscope uses uh, and just to let you know the app is totally free athenoscope is totally free what that watermark does is it allows the bot the ai to say oh i've made this clip already i don't need to record it so you can make a playlist and with that playlist it could be a starting soon or a be right back screen and it'll have the word starting soon or be right back in it and it'll recognize the watermark that it's made and say oh i don't need to capture this screen if you don't have the watermark it will actually record the gameplay and if it's already made a clip, it'll just keep on making that same clip from your Be Right Back screen. So you can uh, remove the highlights and you can keep them there. Um, all it is, everything that you can do is in your settings and it'll be very clear, you know, have a watermark there or not the watermark. It's, it's pretty awesome. And my final favorite feature of this application is the showcase every monday this app will make a showcase for you what a showcase is is what they call a montage and as you can see um if you go to my showcases it'll pop up with this area right here and it has all of the showcases that it's made for me every single monday it has the title of the song and then the game and this will actually make multiple montages of for each individual game you've played and the way you get athenoscope to make you this showcase is you have to be running the app you know or or sending data to it so it can get the clips and you just have to play so for me i've already uh made the showcase requirements for valorant as you can see up here 11 kills so i got 11 out of 11 kills uh six match starting so i started six matches victory uh victory or round win one of one i've already got one of those so by completing this there's enough information here that athenoscope can make a montage out of it and man that some of them are just awesome bangers if you want to see one stick around at the end of the video i'll put the montage for my favorite one this last week um or maybe just my favorite one overall well i'll, I'll figure that out when i watch them <laughs> uh, but yeah every monday it makes these for you and if you play multiple games throughout the week uh you can have multiple uh montages to choose from same song same song but different games maybe you have you know more hype in one game than the other and and i've you know that's why i run the app on my pc because Sometimes I just come in here and play for like 30 minutes. I'm not live, I'm not streaming or anything, but I have enough time to play. And yeah, I freaking love this app. It is so cool, it's so awesome. You can take these montages, you can take these clips, turn them into TikTok videos. And when you're not streaming, maybe you're you know taking a break that week, or you just need to put something up on your YouTube video or on your various social medias, boom, you got clips right here. You got things to pull from that are made automatically. Your chat doesn't have to worry about making clips if they don't want. Um, you don't have to worry about pressing the hotkey. It's super simple, convenient, free, and it's it's been a lifesaver. <laughs> So if you want to see this in action, um, follow my social medias because I'm going to post them on YouTube. I'm going to post them on my Instagram, my Facebook. You know, I'm Asian Slick Slayer all over the internet, even on TikTok. And if you want to ask me questions about this while I'm live, I stream every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So thank you so much for watching this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.
One enemy remaining. 